All right. Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to another raw video. This video doesn't really have any editing or something like that. I just record my thoughts directly in front of camera about the questions or some of my inner thoughts that I have and usually answer them directly. This is one such video because I have received a lot of messages and emails and whatnot about the masters that I'm doing, what I'm doing currently, what I'm learning, how is it going, how's the college life, and a whole lot of details. So whatever comes to my mind about the raw thoughts, I would love to share them uh, with you. So in case you are interested about uh, knowing how my master's is going, what I'm learning, what subjects I'm exploring, what I'm uh, planning to explore further, why I'm doing it and all of that, uh, then stay tuned. Otherwise, this is your cue. You can leave that. So I usually love to target the audience that this video is intended for that particular audience. Otherwise, uh, I just uploaded a couple of videos on React Native series as well. Go ahead, check them out. It's really nice. All right, so moving on to the part where I discuss. So in case you don't know, I last year opted that, hey, I'll be doing my master's in cloud computing. And it was a well-planned decision. It was not just randomly going out and taking an admission. I really wanted to do it, explore uh, what more I can learn in the cloud computing. I'm very much comfortable with the programming world, building web apps, mobile apps, APIs, front end, and pretty much a lot. And of course, there is still a ton of things to learn about it, but still I'm very comfortable in that zone. In case you have seen, because I don't usually post, uh, I was not posting that much on YouTube, although there are like uh, 1500 videos, almost 1500 videos on YouTube, but still this is just a tip of iceberg. Usually my majority of the work was available at Learn Code Online, which was my previous startup. And I've built courses around Vue.js, AngularJS, React.js, Node, Django, I have done a lot of Python work as well. I do have a course on machine learning and all of that. I don't usually talk about it, but yes, I do have courses well and nicely appreciated by audience. And of course, these are paid courses. So I usually a lot of audience doesn't know about it. I do have my uh, keen interest into the world of Python, uh, machine learning and data science and all of that as well, but not that much high as I have interest in uh, core development, APIs, uh, databases, as well as a little higher on the cloud side, DevOps side. This is where my majority of interest lies. So this is it. So around one year ago, I decided that let's explore my interest further down the road onto the cloud world and what more I can learn with that. So I, because the acquisition was already almost planned up and uh, the company got acquired by PW, Physics Fella, it was a good deal. Uh, so we all took it and now we are working onto that as a full-time job. Uh, but on top of that, I'm also working in that. Now coming up to the college. Now, yes, I could have given the exam of GATE, probably could have joined the GATEWALA channel and something like that, uh, but I didn't want to do that because that would be probably a little waste of my time. Uh, not because it's a waste exam, it's a good exam, but the position where I am right now, I really want to just go and learn the subject. That is what my priority is. So I didn't opt for that. I went for direct admission in the college. I wanted the college to nearby my home because I wanted to spend more time with uh, my wife, my brother, my mom and dad. So that's the reason why I chose uh, a university, JCRC University, which is in my same hometown, Jaipur. I was also offered because I shared this with a couple of other universities where we went for hackathon and all of that. So a couple of more universities were also very generous to actually support me a lot. Even they said, you don't need to come to college, just give the exam, come to give the exam only and all of that. But I wanted to pursue it as a student. So I opted for a university where I can go enjoy the student life again and can have fun. So that's uh, one thing that why I opted for it and why I chose the university in Jaipur. I wanted to spend more time with my mom and dad. So that's that's the only reason. Yeah, that's that's it. All right. So it's almost one year. I have given two semester exams. Uh, just Saturday, my uh, second semester was over. I took the Monday off. Uh, so that is there. Now I'll share what I studied in the first semester, what I enjoyed, what I observed in that. First, I understand that I am an exceptional student of the university. And universities actually acknowledge that as well. They sometimes uh, give me a lot of off as well. And sometimes th there is no 75% attendance on me. Uh, the chancellor of the university, uh, the HODs, the dean already well know me and my work as well. So they are actually giving me some benefits of that. Uh, thank you so much for that. I truly, truly appreciate that. On top of that, uh, there is also uh, some, uh, like you can say, extra benefit given by the teachers as well. Sometimes if I'm not able to attend the class, they send me the study material and notes on the WhatsApp. That is the nice thing that I have. So I understand that thing. That is an exceptional case that they are handling. All right. So moving on to the first semester, yes, I have my iPad as well. I'll share the notes I'm taking, I'm studying and all of that. 
So in the semester one, uh, I was all uh, taking my notes on the notebook as well with the classic pen. The reason for that is it's being really long that I've written that much. So I went uh, directly with the pen and paper so that I developed the habit of writing the notes on the pen and paper. Otherwise, what I'll be writing in exam, despite knowing the things, I won't be able to write them in the speed as well. So in the first semester, I studied the first subject that I studied was advanced data structure and algorithm. Now, what I've noticed is in all of the master's subject, if the subject is a little bit known to you, uh, then there is an advanced version for it. Like in the three units or four units, usually there are only five units to study. And in the three units, they actually jam up all the BTEC level syllabus. So in the three units, they just mess up all the syllabus in it. And then two units of advanced uh, subject that you can have. So we have uh, data structures and algorithms. So in this subject, we studied uh, data structures, of course, and algorithms. But there is a uh, algorithm design also was included, how to evaluate the design and uh, what more you can solve reading the research paper. So this was also involved. Quite a fantastic subject. I enjoyed it. And yes, uh, there was no such force that you have to write the code only in this language only uh, during the vivas and all of that. Uh, I was totally allowed to pick any of my language of my choice, whether that's Python, JavaScript and all that. It was a fun subject. I enjoyed that. I attended less classes of it. I'll say that guilty as charged, but I still scored good in it because it's data structure. I know this. Uh, then the subject came in was advanced data communication and network. I absolutely hated this subject. I'm not a communication guy. Uh, I'm not a network guy. Uh, but still, this is the beauty about uh, doing a formal degree that although I don't like the data, uh, this advanced data communication network, but still I had to study it. So all the things that are there, whether I like it or not, I had to study it. I didn't enjoy the subject. I didn't enjoy reading this book as well. I just studied the bare minimum, which was available to there, but nothing more than that. So I'll be honest here. Uh, but in the case of data structure algorithm uh, design, I studied a lot more, which was given to me uh, than the syllabus. Now here, I would like to add a couple of points here. A lot of people during their graduation and post-graduation study only that much, which is just required in the syllabus. I think this is not a great way of learning the subject. Now, if up to the 12th standard, if you are learning whatever is given into a syllabus, that's good because only that will be asked in the exam and you are preparing for exam, not for life. But here, if you are choosing a subject like computer science, maybe electronics and communication, maybe civil engineering, you're studying for life. And just saying that, hey, this was not given in my college syllabus, but why this is uh, being asked me in the real world or real life, I think uh, that's where you're lacking. So study the subject as like it's a point of interest. And where the interest is not there, just do the bare minimum basics Still, you will have the knowledge of the subject. So that's one thing. Now, apart from this, there was one subject which was a research methodology in the first semester. Now, this was like really a next level subject. I have never studied this in the past, uh, but this is the next level. Uh, I studied it once when I tried masters when I dropped out of it, but uh, not that much of in depth. Uh, this time the faculty was really nice to help me understand the mathematical part of it. Yes, there was a lot of math and all involved in it. Uh, mean, mode, median, variance and whatnot. Everything that you can imagine. A lot of part of uh, pattern recognition, even data analysis was also included in this subject. So I studied there. Not only that, I also studied about uh, how we can take some surveys, gather some data and perform some analysis on it. And during the data collection method, we studied how we can take interviews, surveys and all of whatnot. And I was surprised about the survey. Uh, one, for example, I'll share. I did the survey about taking my university student as well, a couple of nearby neighboring few interviews from the student. And I turned out that there is a, a huge, huge difference between the people who actually understand Git. Yeah, that was taken the survey from the third year student. Third year student don't really know Git. But those who follow people on YouTube and watch a lot of YouTube videos of tech content creator, they not only just know Git, they actually know a lot. So there is not nobody who is in between. Either people don't know stuff, either people know a lot of stuff. So, But again, this was very skewed survey, as my faculty told me that the survey is still skewed, so you need to do more work. So I'll come back onto this probably later on when I'll actually finish that survey. Uh, but yes. So this was all about the first semester. There were a couple of more subjects, uh, like uh, there was this uh, data mining as well, a little bit optional that was given to us. A lot of study, a lot of ETL, uh, and yes, a lot of Python, a data analysis kind of a thing. So I'm not that much enjoying that at this point of time. 
Now this moves into the second semester, what I studied in that. So the one subject which I absolutely loved was the very first advanced operating system. So up till three and a half ish unit was exactly the bachelor's uh, curriculum that was included in that. And then uh, more topics were included from uh, the distributed operating system, how that works and everything. So I not only studied for the curriculum itself, I explored a few good lectures on YouTube, a couple of foreign universities, explored them, although that was not a part of my curriculum, but I enjoyed learning it. There was a lot of free time, so I enjoyed that. So this is one subject. And not only that, I prepared some good notes as well. I'll very soon push them onto GitHub. Uh, yes. And by the way, one thing I forgot to mention that in the second semester, I was not writing any notes onto the pen and paper. I actually moved on to uh, this guy, Apple Pencil and iPad. I never thought that this will be so much useful. And now I'm writing every single note. Everything is happening on the iPad. So this actually brings my habit of explaining the things back onto the pen and paper. And I'll definitely very soon use it in my tutorials as well to explain some of the theoretical concept with some diagrams, some notes and whatnot. I found that people actually enjoy that. I actually tried this once in uh, one of the videos on the Next.js where I was explaining server-side rendering, server-side generation and whatnot. People enjoyed that. So I'll, I'm planning to incorporate more it in my tutorials. So I'll be doing that. Okay, moving on into the second semester. So I, as I mentioned, I studied the advanced operating system, loved it. A lot of notes are there. I'll be pushing them on my GitHub so that other people can study it. At least who are doing their graduation and something, they can actually probably take advantage of these notes as well. I will do that in this week only. So that's no problem. Then the another subject is uh, advanced data mining and warehousing. Oh boy, I thought this will be more oriented towards the data science, but turns out it was more oriented towards data engineering. So how the pipelines are made, made how the data is collection, is done and what tools you can use. And uh, actually, uh, faculty discussed me with a couple of things that you can use uh, from the AWS also uh, that can help you to do this data collection. So although the subject was data mining and warehousing, uh, probably I guessed it wrong, but it was more about the data collection and being and becoming the data engineering. So a lot of good YouTube videos are there about the data engineering, but I think there could be a lot more. It's a fresh field. So there's a lot of room to put a lot of videos about this one. So I'll probably try some uh, or I'll just ping a couple of my friends that, hey, there's a lot of room there. So probably you can make the videos on, on this one. Uh, so there were a couple of more subjects into this one, but they were open elective. Uh, one fun thing I'd like to share is during the second semester, one subject that I opted for just for fun was HRM. Yes, human resource management. <laughs> Do you, you might be wondering why, why you did that. Uh, there were a lot of technical subject into this one, so obviously I wanted to pick something which is a little bit more fun and all of that. Uh, I had to take the classes uh, with the graduate students, so a lot of young kids were there in the class. And uh, probably me and one more guy was the old ones only, but it still it was fun uh, sitting, uh, sitting next to them and studying again in the class. Uh, teachers are not super happy with how they are delivering the human resource classes. A little boring, I'll be honest there. There is a lot of improvement in the lecture delivery there, but hey, you cannot expect YouTube quality of the lecture delivering and engagement on, onto that class. Not everybody is equipped for that. So that's there, granted. But I enjoyed the subject, especially the part, now I understand a lot more, that why HR is doing what they are doing, why those Fun Friday happens. And when you think that HR is all for you, is it all for you or is it for the organization? Yeah, there is a lot of clarity now, so I'll probably use it in my future life. Uh, yeah, that, that was a fun subject. Okay, uh, this is all about it, and now where the things are going to go. So let me also share this also. Uh, let me just try to find this. So there is a lot of CSE track. Now, in my third semester, actually, I have to opt in for a subject. So let me just open the... I'm actually scrolling through all the syllabus that I have here. Uh, there's a lot more. Just give me a second. I'm on to cybersecurity track. There should be nearby a cloud track. Oh, it's here. I scrolled past to it. Just give me a second. And again, these are raw videos, so I'm not going to be editing it. Uh, patient, man, patience. Okay. So here it is. So what happens in this is now in the third and fourth semester, I have to choose my subjects. All subjects are totally elective to me. So what do you want to study? What do you want to do? It's totally up to me. And the fourth semester is all about projects. So you have to pick up your own project and have to work on it. I've already picked up my project uh, that what I'll be studying. 
so that's going to be really interesting project. I'll be making it open source as well. And very soon I'll be announcing it because rest of the research work and everything, it's not about that I have to just do the research work only in the cloud. We can pick up any project. It doesn't need to be that high end or uh, that scalable and all these things. Let me just find this. Let me pause the video and find where I want to show you. All right, so now I'm into cloud computing track. I was actually searching for this. So cloud computing, oh, it's not even visible. No, it's not visible. So cloud computing track. So yeah, I, I was searching for it. So in the third semester, I have to choose subjects which are elective to me and they are all cloud focused. And this also moves us to the point that from this point onwards, I would like to take the journey of this YouTube channel also onto a little bit centric towards the cloud as well. Uh, more of the cloud computing and the DevOps side as well. I know a bit and pieces, a lot pieces of it, uh, but now since I'm going formally through it, I'll be like exploring it to extreme end as well. We'll be probably preparing for a few certifications as well because they are formal approach of studying the thing. So I enjoy that process. So I'll be going that. Now the electives which are available for me are grid computing. I'm not gonna take that as an elective. I don't like grid computing at all. So probably that's not for me. Uh, there's an interesting one which is cloud security. A lot of interesting concepts and stuff out there. Probably I can try them and uh, learn them as well. Probably that's interesting. Then there is a managing virtual environment. This is again a great. And as I know, there is a lot of virtualization that happens. There is also a research work entirely done from one of the professors in Australian University. I forgot the name. I'll probably share it there. Uh, but that's also interesting work. He actually built his own cloud framework so that you can uh, utilize a lot of your machine and build storage and compute engine and whatnot onto this. So that is also one interesting. Then there is a subject for elective, which is cloud storage. Yes, entire subject on just uh, the cloud storage, how the design happens, how the security of the storage is taken care, optimization, and a lot, a lot is there. So this is interesting. Then there is a core cloud computing, which is also good. Uh, so, and then on top of that, there is a design and development of cloud application. This is interesting. I know programming. And I think designing applications which are core centric towards the cloud, we call them in the world of YouTube as cloud native apps. Uh, so that would be really interesting that how that actually happens. A lot of interesting stuff is here. So uh, these are all the subjects which are given to me as an optional and what we'll be doing. So coming back. So uh, one more thing I forgot to share is I'm using a good notes for writing all of my notes, uh, which is an app available for iPad. But in case previously I was using Notability as well, but I realized Good Notes actually works a tiny bit better for me for explanation and recording the videos as well. So I'm using that as one. If you wish, uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll uh, show you my workflow of how I take notes and how I study and all of that using the Good Notes. I'll, I'll do a proper separate video for that. Now, again, uh, the direction of the channel. For the next one year, I will be focusing the direction a little bit towards the cloud, AWS, and the cloud related behind the scenes and whatnot, whatever I'm studying and a little bit journey towards uh, how to achieve the cloud certification since I'll be preparing for them. So I'll be preparing, I'll be sharing the preparation journey with you as well. This doesn't mean that we are going to leave uh, whatever the development journey we are doing about the Next.js, JavaScript, Python, and uh, mobile development, all of that. This is obviously we are going to do. I don't think that they actually consume me that much and they doesn't push me beyond the boundaries but the cloud journey is going to push me a little bit beyond the boundary. So yes, we are gonna be now going a little bit more aggressive side onto the cloud and yes. So this is all uh, the updates uh, so far and how am I scoring into the exams? Pretty good actually, <laughs> I won't lie on that. Uh, pretty good, pretty decent. I know a lot of exam subjects and stuff so I don't feel good in memorizing the stuff yet uh, since my vocab is good. Uh, my English is decent, so I'm able to frame the sentences better. And there is a lot more for me to write, even for that. And you know, our university is an exam. They actually give advantage if you write more. And I have a lot of thoughts in mind. I can write them easily. I know the tech. I can write it easily. So yes, I'm scoring a pretty good, pretty decent in that. Happy with what the journey is taking me towards. All right, a lot of uh, raw thoughts about how the masters is going and how we're gonna be taking that. Probably I'll make a separate video of what really I want to do and learn the cloud and where I want to take the journey. So I'll do that as a raw video again. I hope you enjoyed them. If you have enjoyed them, if you stayed this far, let me know in the comment section. If you didn't, that's okay, that's fine. If you enjoyed that, hit the subscribe. If not, that's fine too. We'll surely catch up in another such video. That's it for this one guys and uh, let's catch up in the next one.